Salutations, comrades. What's happening? Alright, so today we're going to be talking about some cinema. When I say cinema, I mean fine cinema. And by fine cinema, I mean this is trash. This movie ain't even good. There's no continuous plot. I don't understand it. It's bad. The movie I'm going to be serving up for you today is called The Lobster. I'm not a fan of this movie. It came out in 2016 when that YouTube Rewind video came out. In this movie, there is an actor. This actor's name is like Colin Farrell or something. You might know him as Ronan from the movie Epic, which was epic. Now, let's sit down and watch this guy named Ralph the Movie Maker review this uh, movie called The Lobster. The Lobster is my favorite film of the year so far. I wouldn't say that's extremely high praise, because, like, look what we have for competition. Come on, man. Batman vs. Superman was a great movie. The Lobster is smart, original, and extremely funny. No, it isn't. The last thing I want right now is a kiss from a silly little girl. <laughs> that wasn't funny. That was abusive. Get pwned. It's a film that doesn't pander to the audience, nor does it devolve into pretentious drivel with no real point. The only complaint I have with this film is the repetitive soundtrack, and some scenes go on a bit too long. But besides that, it's a great movie filled with fantastic comedic performances. No, it isn't. My opinion is that she is bisexual, which in this society is... You know, we're living in a society! <laughs> we're supposed to act in a civilized way! Probably the worst thing you can be. You can't be in the middle. You gotta be one way or the other. One way or another. I'm afraid you have to decide right now if you want to be registered as a homosexual or a heterosexual. I mean, the reason they give as to why they don't have a bisexual option doesn't even make any sense. Yes, it does. No, sir, this option is no longer available since about last summer due to several operational problems. See, right there, there are operational problems. Everyone speaks in boring monotone. Hey, whoa man, what do you got against monotone? <laughs> Need a body to live with. Right there in that scene, you see a god among men known as John C. Riley. What an amazing fellow, and they're trying to make him out as a bad guy in this movie, and that's a big thing I got against this movie because John C. Riley, four years before this movie came out, proved that the bad guy can be the good guy. I don't want to be the bad guy anymore. Alright, you better open up, sucker. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Here come that bullshit, what up? 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 Watch him rollin', watch him go. 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 Alright, so I think I got a little off track there. But anyway... In this movie, they put John C. Riley's hand e into a toaster. That's right. They put John C. Riley's hand in a toaster, and they did surgery on a grape. Here's a clip of them putting John C. Riley's hand into a toaster. I've been good otherwise. I... That was a very rude way to treat our Lord and Savior John C. Riley, but now we must address something else, because that's how these reviews go. And what I'd like to address is this dumb violin music. It starts to sound like the uh, Wii theme in some places. You all know what the Wii theme sounds like, but to the all of you that is not all of you, here's what the Wii theme sounds like. The problem that I find with the violin music is that it doesn't play the entirety of the Wii theme, but only the bum 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 part. And that can get annoying. If they played the Wii theme, the full thing, over and over again, maybe I would have liked this movie. Well, I'll be going now. 
I have some rope I'd like to go tie.